All right, so one of the ways you can communicate with students without using the chat and without using Google Meet is through Hangouts. So hangouts.google.com is a really great tool to be able to use. Um, one of the catches with working between the OCSB domain and the OCSB student domain is you actually have to invite the student. So I'm going to invite student 17 to be my friend, um, ocsstudent.ca. And I'm going to notice it'll say invite here. So again, it's going to go and open up a new tab or sorry, new um, component to this page. And I'm gonna hit send out. I can also change it here. It's SP. Okay, so send invite. So now the student is going to receive that invitation and you can actually start a conversation. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So here I am in the student account, the cheese account, and I'm in hangouts.google.com and I can see that e-learning has sent me a message. Awesome, so I'm gonna click on that. And it's saying, hey, it's outside of your domain. And again, because remember, teachers are at ocsb.ca and students are OCSB dot, uh, ocsbstudent.ca. So I can ignore or I can accept. So I'm going to accept that. And so now I can, hey, Miss P, what's up? Okay. And again, if I click back to this account, I can see that that conversation is already happening. If you're concerned about student needs um, or parental uh, parents have concerns about this, you can add you can add people to this group. So I'm going to add a second teacher. So I'm going to add um, Catherine on here, and I'm going to create a group. So now all three of us can have a group conversation this way, which means that um, all everyone is going to be privy to that particular conversation, and that's a good way to both protect yourself protect your student, and also to get the parents more involved in whatever conversations are happening in this way. You can also delete meets or hangout invitations by clicking here and just saying delete, or you can archive it. So delete means it's gone, it's gonna end up in your trash in your Gmail, or you can archive it so that it, you're not gonna see it here anymore. So I'm just gonna archive it and so I can just concentrate on the conversations that I really need to have. 